Hobart Handler 187, made in USA. Cut the side off, not the side with the wire. That, of course, is right there in the center. <clears throat> Got the other side off. Try to stay out of the light here. But there you see the large transformer. It's obviously a switching model. There's a fan for pulling overheated air out of there. Pulling heat away from the transformer and other goodies. And here's the cable coming in, the power cable. And that's part of the reason I've got this thing taken apart. I'm trying to figure out why this thing has a 50 amp plug on the end of a 20 amp cable. My guess, because that's the most likely outlet you'll find in a welding shop. However, this is not a welding shop, this is my home. Let's see if we can get close up on that right there, huh? Good enough. There's where the gas she gets let in. A reset. And the wire side. Where the wire feed gets taken care of. Okay, enough of that. Take a look at some of this stuff in here. Now, where the wire gets let in, which of that is hot, which is ground, which is hot plus, which is hot minus, whatever you want to call it. However you want to refer to phase. I don't know which is which. I'll look into that. the ground just goes to the chassis right there and I'm sure happy it does looks like a pretty well made unit I'm only mildly concerned that that 5 16 inch wrench, quarter inch drive, well ratchet, socket, took this cover off because the two self-threading screws in that handle, the lower ones, the one closest to the orange sticker, are what holds this thing to the top of the welder and that's how it's held on. Right there. Sure would love to see some nuts on the back of this thing here. But that's what holds this thing on. That's how you pick this welder up. Two of those screws, not four of them, go into those two holes right there in that top strap. 
Is the Lincoln made any better? Is the similar Miller made any better? I don't know.